Check it out, guys. I'm going analog. Whoa, look at that. You shrank. <laughs> So I'm going to analog with my art. Guys, for a number of years, I've been dabbling in digital art. It's my hobby. I have a little side hustle designing and selling t-shirts on the internet. The moment I picked up a digital tablet, a display tablet with an actual screen that I can draw on, I did not look back. I just stopped using pencils, pens, paper, and all that. Just saving trees and saving time just because digital is so quick it's so awesome to be able to erase without erasing if you know what i mean and you can control z to your heart's content to undo all the mistakes and whatnot there's layers um but after all this screen time like just like i'm always on the computer at work uh when i get off of work i'm staring at my phone because just like everyone else, I'm addicted to social media and I watch a lot of Netflix and other streaming videos and streaming companies. So my eyes need a rest. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get back to my roots and pick up some nice sketchbooks and just go analog, man. Just pencils, maybe some pen and just good old fashioned paper. So I did a search for really nice sketchbooks and this company Illo popped up and you know I, I wanted something substantial something nice that that you know looked a little more elegant than your typical sketchbook um it looks nice like it could go on the shelf um thinking about you know maybe getting a series of these getting a bunch of these and like filling them up with art and drawing and and just sticking them up on my bookshelf uh check it out uh there's an elastic band here that keeps the cover closed but it can also be used as a a bookmark um, this is an eight inch by eight inch square shape. Um, very cool. It's a little trendy because it's it basically it's square for things like Instagram since Instagram's default setting for photography is a square. So it's a little trendy kind of thing, but hey, it makes it stand out. It's kind of cool. Um, I also read that these stay flat when they're open. Like when you open them up, they just stay flat on your desk instead of like closing on you and whatnot. I have some smaller sketchbooks that have uh, binding that does that, that makes it, that makes it hard to draw because it just closes on you. But this is supposed to stay flat, which if it does, it's awesome. I haven't opened it yet. I'm sharing with you right now first. Um, and uh, you know, this sketchbook is a little pricier than others. Um, so in order to make it kind of worth my while, you know, with the shipping and all that, I went ahead and got a bundle. So I picked up this travel size one, which is four and a half inches by four and a half inches. Once again, a square, but it's much smaller. Figured, you know, when I'm on the go, I could sketch stuff, but you know, I haven't been on the go for several months because of COVID. But if and when it's safe to go back outside and we have some kind of a vaccine that everyone can afford, uh, you know, when I travel again, this will be one of my companions. Yeah. They do make a larger size now, a 10 by 10, but I did not want something that large. Uh, it's just a little more cumbersome. So even if I wanted to travel with this one, I could because it's still light enough and small enough. Uh, you can get other bundles too. You don't have to get this particular bundle. You can get three of these small ones. You can get, I think, two of these together. Uh, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna leave some links down below so you can grab uh, one of these if you want off of their website. At the time I bought these, they were not on Amazon, but I'll leave the Amazon link. There. They were they were sold out or something like that or currently unavailable kind of thing. Um, but I'll leave an Amazon link down below as well. If it's there, cool. If you want one, purchase it through my link and I get a little kickback, you know, it's, it's just a, a little something something, you know, affiliate link. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open these up so I can kind of show you what they're like and so that I get to start using them. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. Illo Sketchbook, fair and square. Eight inches by eight inches. Illosketchbook.com. You got your perfect square, hardcover, heavyweight paper, 
fair price. You found me. Send me back to. My owner will reward you with. Hmm. Get to, to fill that out. There we go. Oh, yeah. It lays pretty flat. That's really nice. That is what I was looking for, is this being able to lay it flat like this. Wow. This paper is super, like super heavyweight paper. Um, I'm not a big markers guy, so I probably won't be testing that thickness out. Um, I would recommend you test that out for yourself though, um, just in case. I know that some of you might paint or use markers, and I don't know if it's thick enough for that kind of thing, but it is definitely thicker than uh, your average sketchbook. There's a little, um, ooh, look at that. There's a little accordion pocket here. Let's just show you how much that pops open. It almost feels like fabric right here. I don't know if this is like a polyester or if it's just like something, some kind of a plastic or whatever. I don't know. Um, here is the strip brand new Illo Hue alcohol-based markers. Yeah, so they make markers too. Um, I'm not a big marker guy, but um, that might be worth looking into, kind of like Copics, I guess. Uh, here they have, follow us on Insta, Facebook, Twitter. Oh no, that's Tumblr, and that's Twitter. Um, and then you can say, show me your illo. Hashtag, perfect square. Square dimensions for easier sharing on social media without the awkward cropping you hate. Hardcover, take your Illo sketchbook anywhere knowing that your drawings are protected. Heavyweight paper, great for most drawing tools, pencils, pens, inks, pastels, you name it. So it's a 122 pounds, um, 122 pound paper. And it says depending on use. So, you know, I guess if you're doing hella coats and hella layers of ink, it's probably gonna like seep through. Um, Fair price, Illo sketchbooks are made with high quality materials, but still easy on your wallet. I'm really looking forward to um, filling this up and it, it feels really nice. It's kind of got this um, faux leather skin feel. Cannot wait to start filling that up. I have this little guy here. Uh, oh, he's got a little ribbon there. I wonder if there's a ribbon on this one. Yeah, there is. Oh, wow, so you don't even have to use this. This is really for the the cover then, uh, the ribbon down here is your is your placeholder. Look at that. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. Look at that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and open this one up. There we go. This one's smaller, so yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't necessarily stay open um, as well as the big one, but it stays open better than expected. Look at that, as long as you just kind of do that, that's not so bad. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Cool. And it has the same little message there, same little um, accordion pocket here stuff in some notes all right awesome okay guys I want to share with you a couple of other things that I got for myself for my art journey going back to my analog days this is a Pentel Twisty Race 0.5 mechanical pencil do you really need a fancy mechanical pencil no not really but I splurged a little just because I was digging this Twisty Racer that it comes with and once you wear this down, you can buy replacements and refill this, which is great. And of course, you can buy a refill lead. It takes 0.5 lead, and uh, you can hear, maybe you can hear that clicking around in there. There's a few pieces in there, and it just it's a basic mechanical pencil. Um, the other cool thing is it has this really nice rubberized grip, so I cannot wait to test drive this thing in my 
new Illo sketchbook because it has a really nice feel. It comes highly recommended by one of my favorite artists, Jake Parker. You might have heard of him before. He is the one that came up with Inktober. He also co-owns and co-founded a um, an art learning website called SVS Learn where you can take art lessons. And more importantly, at least to me, he's one of the artists that was um, a designer for Super Plastic for their Series 1. And this was the janky that... Uh, he designed and it, this is the actual this is the actual design that got me into super plastic and got me collecting jankies um, I supported the very first Kickstarter for jankies um, because of this design and, as well as a handful of others but yeah Jake uh, Jake Parker was one of my favorites um, so yeah I was very excited to get this figure um, anyway, the other item that uh, is also something that Jake recommended was the, I actually have the pen package here, the Pentel Pocket Brush brush pen. That's the package. Basically, it looks like this. I kept this just so I could share with you the information. Um, I'll show you. It has this really cool brush tip, and then it comes with two ink cartridges. I haven't even loaded this up yet, but you unscrew it, and it comes with two of these bad boys and of course you can refill them when they run down uh, I think it goes in like this I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not sure and then you know you stick this back in here and then you screw this thing back on but I think this pierces it and then you're supposed to let the ink flow down to the tip it takes a few minutes or several minutes I'm not sure yet I just you know like I said I just got this I just opened it up um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the links down below where you can get these. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. Uh, you can get both of these, basically. You can get these on Amazon along with their refills as well. So I'll leave links down below. Again, their affiliate links. Uh, I'll get a little percentage if you guys buy through there. But um, And you don't have to. Whatever. I just leave them down there for your information. Um, but yeah, check these out. Uh, I'm going to test drive these in my Illo sketchbooks. And I will have follow-up videos for you so you can see um, what that all looks like. All right, guys? Okay, guys, if you liked that video, please click like. If you didn't like it, please click dislike. Uh, leave a comment down below or a question. Also, question of the day. It's a several-parter question. So one, two, three, maybe there's three parts of this question. Are you an artist? And if you are an artist, are you more of a digital artist, a traditional artist, or do you flip-flop between the two or do you combine the two? Let me know in the comments down below and we will talk again soon in the next video. What's up guys, Jason Your Face here. Now for a number of years, I've been a digital artist, um, just kind of having a little side hustle uh, slash hobby of mine. And I went full digital. <laughs> My cat's trying to eat this cable that's attached to my microphone. You're being a bad girl. Hey, hey, don't. She's about to bite, she's about to bite this wire. Don't.